Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, I'll cover the internals of how Kafka serialization and deserialization works. I hope you all uh, remember this code that we wrote in the previous section. In here, we have something called serdis.string for deserializing the key and value as a string. The first argument to the consumed with factory method is a key serializer and second one is a value deserializer. But if the same serdi is used in the produced with section, the code where we wrote that enriched data back into the Kafka topic, there it behaves as a key serializer and value serializer. Okay, what does serdi even mean actually? Serdi is a factory class in Kafka streams that takes care of handling the serialization and deserialization of key and value. This is a little different from the Kafka consumer and producer API because if you have experience building Kafka consumer and producer API, we specifically call out the serializer and deserializer property and provide the appropriate class for the serialization and deserialization to work. Let's dive into the code and then understand how this whole thing works. So I'm back in IntelliJ. I'm in the greeting topology. So I'm going to show you what's behind this serdis.string. I mean, how does the deserialization work in this case? So if you go to this class, what we return is a serdi of type string. So if you go to the serdi class, this is a simple class that holds a serializer and deserializer. So there is no implementation in it. The class that provides the implementation basically extends that class. And if you go to the string serdi, so this is a class which extends the wrapper serdi and the wrapper serdi is the one which implements serdi of type T, right? The type is a generic one. Basically you can use a wrapper serdi to implement many variations. And if you take a look at the string serdi class implementation, we provide the serializer and deserializer. So if you go to the super, it's a call to the wrapper serdi class. So the serializer comes into play when you are writing the data into the Kafka topic. So this is what happens when you are writing the data using the to operator and then you use produced dot with. When you do this, the actual serializer comes into play. So in this case, we will be instructing the Kafka streams to use a serializer because we are using the produced with factory function. And if you go to the absurdities again, the deserializer is the one which comes into play when you are reading the data from the Kafka topic. So that is what is happening in this particular line of code. So the Kafka streams library behind the scenes takes care of performing the deserialization and serialization for you behind the scenes. And the way it does it by using this consume.with function and produce.with function. So this is how the deserialization and the serialization works in Kafka streams. And the whole concept is behind the interface named Serdi. I hope you all have a pretty good idea about how the whole serialization and deserialization works in Kafka streams. In the following lectures, we will write some custom serialization techniques on how to read messages other than string. Let's say if you want to read a JSON, how do we do it? Okay. I hope you all have a good idea about how serialization and deserialization works behind the scenes. This marks the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching.